Hi, Matthew Coast here, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today I wanted to address a question that I see quite a bit in comment sections, usually on my Facebook page, and it's uh, what's wrong with men? Right, and, and um, I'm actually in Estonia right now. I'm traveling around, and I was going through my Facebook feed, and there's this article in there about sex robots, right? And how uh, men are now buying sex robots and having these relationships with sex robots. And in the comments section, there's this woman who said, instead of talking about why men are having relationships with sex robots, maybe we should be asking what's wrong with men. And, um, you know, it was kind of an interesting question. It kind of stuck out in my mind. When I was a men's dating coach for a long time, uh, I used to get the same question about women. You know, men would always say, you know, what's wrong with women? Why do they cheat on men? You know, what's, um, why don't they like good men like me? You know, why can't, you know, I, I'm such a good guy, I'm such a gentleman, I'm all the things that women say that they want, but nobody will date me. And it's, it's, you know, it's really interesting. I don't think that there's anything wrong with men or women. You know, I think we have a lot of weird things going on. Um, you know, both of us, both men and women have weird things going on. I was watching some videos on YouTube earlier and there's this video of this guy who was going through these different dating games and one of them was like this game about women who fall in love with a horse with a man's head there is this game about these women who are you know trying to cheat on men and it was like how can you get away with cheating on on this guy and it, it was just you know there's there's a lot of weird stuff out there um, and there's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, we, we could ask, you know, what's wrong with everybody? You know, maybe we're all screwed up. Or maybe we're all just human. And that, that's really what I think, is that we all have these crazy desires, we have these crazy human instincts that we don't even fully understand. And we want to pretend like we're somehow above all of those things. Yet none of us can escape from the human condition. We're all humans. We're all, you know, we have different genders. Um, you know, some of us are attracted to, you know, the same gender. Some of us are attracted to weird things. Um, you know, and, and if you've ever learned about people's sexual habits, you know that there's all kinds of weird stuff in there. I'm both men and women's side. And I think that, you know, the, the reality is, is that we all want great relationships. I, I don't think that we should I don't think that we should shame people. I don't think that we should tell people that there's something wrong with them. Instead, I, I think we should have compassion. you know even um, it, th there's a lot of people that do bad things, right? There's people that um, you know they cheat on their spouses, they cheat on their partners, they hurt their partners, they um, both men and women emotionally and physically will hurt their partners. Instead of trying to figure out what's wrong with the opposite sex, I think maybe we should try to just have compassion for each other. Um, if somebody's doing something that's messed up, obviously don't, you know, don't stay in bad situations, recognize red flags, but at the same time, you know, we're all, we all have issues. You know, we all have been hurt. Almost every person that I've ever met, man and woman in my life, has had heartbreak. You know, we've had struggles, we've had challenges, we've had things that have happened in our childhoods that are painful. And um, if we come from a space of love, if we come from a space of acceptance, if we come from a space of compassion, we're more likely to have better relationships. You know, men do a lot of weird things like getting into relationships with sex robots, which is weird, it's very weird. Um, they do that because there's frustration there. They do that because there's pain. They do that because they don't feel whole, they don't feel accepted, they don't feel like they can have what it is that they want. You know, and there's plenty of women that feel the same way who are just giving up on men altogether and are instead are focusing on their careers. There's more single women now in the United States um, than there's uh, percentage-wise 
than ever before. There's more single women than there are uh, married women, which is the first time in, in history that we've had that here. And so um, I think maybe if you want to get into a great relationship, instead of attacking men and shaming them and saying there's something wrong with them, my suggestion is that you come from a place of compassion. You know, be smart, be intelligent, you know, uh, recognize red flags, go with your intuition. But at the same time, you know, if there's something that's, you know, we, we all have little quirks and weird things and, you know, have compassion, have, have acceptance, you know, have, um, have some love for other people on this planet. And I think that if we started doing that instead of shaming and blaming and attacking, that we'd all have better relationships. So that's it for today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, we just hit the 2,000 mark on our subscribers. Yay! Um, and I appreciate you being here and watching this video. And I hope that uh, uh, we talk again soon. Thanks for watching. If you want to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship that you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.